Thomas here with Much Props, gonna give you another how-to video. This time we are going to build something from one of my all-time favorite movies, The Goonies. Uh, I was obsessed with this movie when I was a little kid, and I wanted to build something that was easily recognizable, but also easy to build. Uh, and looking through images, I found something that I thought would work pretty well. We're gonna use some polystyrene. You could use any plastic you, you have handy, and some craft foam to build the skeleton key from the Goonies. Let's get to building.
finished. Here is the end result. It's not bad. There are a couple of flaws in it that could be better. On the edge, which you probably won't be able to see, you can see a separation from where the craft foam meets the polystyrene. Um, this could be avoided by filling in the gap using some caulking or some type of filler or the technique that I've used in some previous ones where you mix the super glue with the EVA dust uh, to fill in those gaps. I didn't really notice it until I started painting it. Um, and by then I didn't want to add too much Plasti Dip to knock off any of the details. So it is what it is. Um, the other thing that kind of bugs me, I used the patina, the copper patina from the Modern Masters paint, not a sponsored video, uh, and it didn't turn out as dark as I wanted. Maybe I mixed the chemicals wrong or something, but it, it looked like it was moldy instead of patinaed. So I just went over the top of that with some just plain old acrylics and it, it really kind of sells it a little bit more um, and, and it works. So maybe you'll try and make one of these yourselves and impress your friends with your Goonie Skeleton Key. So much so that they want one for their very own. Maybe you'll get some and inevitably they're going to ask you, how'd you make that? You can give them one of these and tell them much props. All right, I've got to, I've got to turn it the right way or the floor drops. So let's make sure we go this way. Ha!